ever find yourself stuck in the middle of the sea I'll sail the world to find you If you ever find yourself lost in the dark and you can't see I'll be the light to guide you Find out what we're made of When we are called to help our friends in need You can count on me Like one, two, three I'll be there And I know when I need it I can count on you Like four, three, two And you'll be there Cause that's what friends are supposed to do, oh yeah Ooh, 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 yeah, yeah If you're tossing and you're turning and you just can't fall asleep I'll sing a song <laughs> I'm that flight that you get on International First class seat on my lap, girl Riding comfortable Cause I know what that girl them need New York to Haiti I got lipstick stamps on my passport You make it hard to leave Been around the world, don't speak the language But your booty don't need explaining All I really need to understand is When you You talk dirty to me Hey guys, I'm gonna uh, quote from Winnie the Pooh. This is Nora told me this actually, um, and so the quote is that a life without friends is like. A pot without a single drop of honey left inside, which is really sad. Um, <laughs> or maybe in our case, it's like a jar without any peanut butter, because that's all we ever ate. In any case, I'm bringing you guys this quote because I love everybody on this program so much. Um, and I'm so, so, so happy that I got to meet everybody because I don't think we definitely wouldn't have all come together on campus. Um, maybe. Maybe we would have. Probably not. So, yeah, I love you guys. So, what has this program meant to me? I think that it's been an incredible, incredible group of people, different from the other programs that I've done, but special in its own way, and kind of the best part is seeing the way people interact uh, with our surroundings, with, our ch with each other. Um, I want to say thank you to all the BOSP staff, obviously the Bangs, all the UQ staff and our wonderful professors, and especially just to everyone for being really positive and enthusiastic when sometimes we've had adverse conditions, as Selena would have said. It's just been a really good trip all around, and it's all because of the people. Yeah. All right, so um, one of my favorite aspects of this trip was obviously getting to go out into the nature, um, hiking around Lamington, snorkeling all the time at Heron, and I really loved how everyone um, just really got into it, like going on hikes voluntarily at Lamington, waking up at 6 in the morning or even earlier to see sunrises and go snorkeling. Um, it was awesome to be surrounded by people who were as outdoorsy and into nature as I was and just really um, getting into the trip and taking the most advantage of this awesome opportunity we've been given and um, exploring Australia. It's been really awesome. <laughs> Yeah, my favorite part of the program was definitely Lamington, like going on the really long hikes and especially the waterfall one and like up to those mountain peaks and that was awesome and that was a great part of the program and also, I don't know, this isn't my favorite part, but I never thought I would make such good friends and oh. I'm happy for the program because of that too.
adventures! Um, I think my favorite part of the program was the last night at Heron Island with all that that entailed. Some great um, Jay moments. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was a good flight. And skinny dip jetty jump yeah. Yeah. and a uh, reef walk. Not the reef walk. <laughs> I liked frolicking in the rainforest. <laughs> I think that I have two overall favorite parts about this program. Um, I think the first was getting to know people that I definitely would stop laughing at me, Nora. <laughs> that I wouldn't have gotten to know otherwise, um, except for Nora. And <laughs> no, but really, um, meeting the, like people on this program that I would never have gotten to meet probably, um, and they're all awesome. And also, um, getting to explore this country in a way I don't think any other study abroad program really lets you do. Um, yeah, so I just want to say thanks to everyone for making it such a good experience. <laughs> okay, um, I think my favorite part about this whole program has been the adventure of it, and I think that we've all gone through lots of fun, different, Thanks. Let's start over. <laughs> Nora, please. Please. I don't have my thoughts together as well as I thought. Amy's foot's on me. Please. Okay, uh, she's like a director. Okay, I guess what I'm trying to say is I feel like we really have gotten to see this country in the most adventurous way possible with such an adventurous spirit and I've admired everyone so much in their willingness to go with the flow on things and let life happen and be in the present and sleep on a bus for six hours and still be able to laugh about it or you know be in the BBR for two weeks and maybe not have it be the best thing in the world but having everyone you know just come out with a funny attitude and funny stories and so I guess I've just loved everyone's adventurous spirit and I think it's been a wonderful adventure. My favorite moment of the trip was probably the last night on Heron when a couple of us slept out on the beach and then woke up really early for the sunrise. Um, yeah, that was really special. Australia has been really awesome and there's really wonderful and amazing people here that I'm really glad I met and got to hang out with and I hope that we get to keep hanging out at Stanford. And also Lamington was a really great week. I'm really excited that we had that week. It was really wonderful. The greatest memory for me on this trip was jumping off the dock in Heron naked. It was the most naked and most free I've ever felt in my entire life. <laughs> All right. It was, Eric. Favorite memory outside of meeting. Shit, was that Amanda, a bad answer, Ken? Nora no, and Ken. No, it was great. I mean, that was top three. It was right just there. so naked. Favorite memory was. I really liked biking the Blue Mountains with uh, mm. Nina and Jake. I heard that and was Nick. fun. Nick was there too, but he kind of got sick. But <laughs> that whole experience was phenomenal, phenomenal. It's Andrew. I have an auto pop. I would eat it, but I have the pipes. <laughs> it helps a lot. I'm really drunk right now, but honestly, I love y'all. Love Andrew. Hi, everyone. Now, I hope we're all having a wonderful Bing dinner. I'm sure the food is great and that future me is really enjoying it. Um, I just wanted to say um, thank you, you know, thanks everyone. It's been a really wonderful quarter and hope we, we've all gotten to know each other a bit, um, you know, just through through some of the, the struggles, um, but all of the fun times as well. Um, I want to say thanks to all of our, all of the, the tutors, who are, I'm not sure who's going to be here, Olaf, Matt, and who else, you know who else is going to be there? I okay, you can just cut that part out. So I want to say thanks to all the tutors, all, all of our professors who joined us here today, and even and those who are not, we're certainly thinking of you all, and, and thanks for all that you've done. And... This has been a really great quarter. We've done some really exciting stuff in the field and the classroom. We've seen a lot. Of, we've seen a lot of Australia. You know, we've been from Sydney to Heron Island back, and it's been great. And I've really, really loved getting to know all of you. And I've tried to make a point. You know, just 
to get to know everybody on this trip. And I think that this has been a really amazing group and this is definitely going to be one of the highlights of my Stanford experience. And I hope it is one of yours as well and that we can continue to all be friends and hopefully see each other regularly on reunions once we get back onto campus. I'll say one word at a time. I mean some all of them. <laughs> No, I mean, no, this is a fucking great day. Fuck you, you're awesome. Take one word at a time. Okay, oh. And then you're right. Gus and I are going to have a little conversation, a little banter conversation as English gentlemen. Okay, ready? I am really excited that I got to see all of my. Good <laughs> <laughs> start. This trip has been very formative for me and for everyone else. I don't know if that's good or bad. <laughs> and I think it's been formative for you, and that's awesome. We're going to Heaven Island every last. Oh, father has an island just like this. <laughs> so Piers is in 800 meters. <laughs> bigger than my mansion. Oh, well, the mansion on the island is a little bigger than the resort and the business station combined. I would say that as well. <laughs> you should see the spa. Oh, it's, like a, it's like the reef out there. Oh, the reef is delicious. Mm. Carry on. <laughs> We're here, Bruce of Mellon, wondering what you feel about the Lots of people, you hear that? That's cool. What do you love about me? Well, I could love anyone on this trip. Because before the trip, I was not a very weird person. I was not a really funny person. I was not a really social person. But everyone here makes me funny, weird, and very social. Unbelievable people. It is a transformative experience. You heard it here first. She feels social. She, she, she feels funny. Remember that shit at Lamington when she was like, but where, what about the dance? What do you feel about that, Nora? Well, I'm glad everyone took it as a joke, but I actually meant it. She meant it as serious. <laughs> Wish you could come up with that kind of comedy on the spot, you know what I'm saying? Probably have more girls in the city than the city anyways. Uh, I, don't, I don't really have anything else. Nora, what do you think of Gus? Don't tell him anything. Yeah. <laughs>